We are given a scaling triangle whose sides are 7, 5, and 6, and a square inscribed inside it in such a way that the two vertices of the square touches the triangle at two points. We are to find the area of the square. Solution. Now let us label this triangle A, B, C, and let us call this point D and this point E. So, which of the formula? you'll be best to find the area of this triangle. I think it's heroine's formula. So, I will use heroine to find the area of this triangle ABC. So, this is heroine's formula. And S equals to A plus B plus C all over 2. Let us label the size of the triangle. This is A, here is B, and here is C. In our question, A equals to 6, B equals to 5, and c equals to 7. So s equals to 6 plus 5 plus 7 all over 2 give us 18 over 2 equals to 9. So now let us substitute that into the equation. We have area of triangle ABC equals to the square root of 9 bracket 9 minus 6 into bracket 9 minus 5 into bracket 9 minus 7. So area of triangle ABC equals to 9 times 3 times 4 times 2. So this is the same as root 9 times root 3 times root 4 times root 2. So we will have 6 root 6. Now the area of triangle ABC equals to 6 root 6. Now let us call that equation 1. Next, let us draw a perpendicular line from the point A to line BC. And let us call this point M and this point N. Our M right now is to find the length of AN, which is the height of this triangle. Now, the formula for finding area of a triangle is half base times height. And in our triangle, the base here is BC, which is six units. And the area of this triangle is six root six, and we are to find AN, which is the height. So, when we substitute that into the formula for finding the area of a triangle, we have 6 root 6 equals to 1 over 2 times, times 6 times a n. So we have 6 root 6 equals to so 6 a n over 2. So we divide and then we have 3 a n equals to so 6 root 6. So we divide both sides by 3. We have so a n equals to so 2 root 6. Next, we have to find the length of the square. Let us call the side of the square x. This will be x. This will be x. This will also be x. Now, if this is x, then this line mn will be x too. If this is x, this length am will be 2 root 6 minus x. Now, let us take a look at these two triangles. Triangle ABC and triangle ADE. These two angles, B and D, are equal. Reason being that they are corresponding angles. Suppose we call this angle alpha, this one will also be alpha. Similarly, these angles at point C and E are also equal because they are also corresponding angle. So if we call this angle beta, this one will also be called beta. Now, the two triangles have the same angles that are the same and they are corresponding angles. So this third angle will also be the same. So in triangle ADE and triangle ABC, all the angles are the same. That means they are similar triangles. Since triangle ADE and ABC are similar, the ratio among their corresponding sides will be equal. So we will take the ratio among their base and their height. So triangle ABC is similar to triangle ADE. So the ratio here among their side and their base, we have BC all over DE equals to AN all over AM. When we substitute the values, we have 6 all over X equals to 2 root 6 all over 2 root 6 minus X. So when we cross multiply, we have this. So we simplify to have this. So 3x to this side of the question, we have 3x plus root 6x equals to 6 root 6. So x is common, so we factor out the x and we have 
x bracket 3 plus root 6 equals to 6 root 6, we divide both by 3 plus root 6, we have x equals to 6 root 6 all over 3 plus root 6. We cannot leave our answer like this, so we have to rationalize. So to rationalize, so x equals to 6 root 6 all over 3 plus root 6 times 3 minus root 6 all over 3 minus root 6. So when we simplify, we have 18 root 6 minus 36 all over 3 squared minus the square root of 6 squared. So 3 is common in the numerator here. So we factor out 3. Then we have x equals to 3 bracket 6 root 6 minus 12 all over 9 minus 6. So when we simplify, we have x equals to 6 root 6 minus 12. The value of x is 6 root 6 minus 12. Since we have gotten the length of one side of the square, we can go ahead and find the area of the square. Now, area of square is length times breadth. So in our own case, the area of the square here will be x times x, which is x squared. So when we substitute in the value of x, we have the bracket of 6 root 6 minus 12 squared. Here, 6 is common. So we factor out 6. We now have 6 squared bracket of root 6 minus 2 squared. So we expand and we have this and simplify we have this and this and finally we have 360 minus 144 root 6. So when we simplify this number we will have 360 minus 352.7. So when we subtract we have 7.27 square units. So the value of x in this square is 7.27 square units. Kindly like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.